Hey everyone, this is Sean Keenan for Touch Plus, and in this quick tip, I'm going to share with you my process and what I like to do to create a batch file for Maya so that you don't actually have to render with Maya open. As you can see that we have Maya open here, and we're going to be using a script here to create our, our batch file. You can see that we have, like I said, Maya open here, and we have a camera in our scene which is called Shot Cam. And this is the angle that we're going to be rendering through whenever we create our batch file. Okay. Now, considering and thinking that we have to have all of our settings um, at least set to go ahead and render, and, and which I do, and I'm not going to walk you through setting up any of the render settings here in the scene, um, but for demonstration purposes here and, and just um, basic information, this is just a simple GI lighting scene. Um, with a three-point light setup inside of Maya. Okay, and what we need to do is go ahead and create a batch file that's going to point to this so that we can render this scene out. So what I'm going to go ahead and do here is just drag um, Maya down so that we can go ahead and create our batch file. So let me go ahead and just drag this down here real quick. And we're going to go ahead and open up this batch script generator. So let me go ahead and just double click on this. And this will just take a minute to load here. Okay, so whenever it pops up, you get this window. Um, definitely a huge thanks goes out to Stormhide for coding this. And this is just going to make it very simple for us to go ahead and create a batch file. So that the process now doesn't necessarily have to be um, overly complicated. And you don't have to really go out and start searching for the lines um, and the codes that you would normally go ahead and put into a batch file. So we need to obviously take a look here at the top. Um, you have your, your file menu which is your new script, open script, add to script, create batch script, and create test script. Okay, so you also have your, your edit clear, create render logs if you need them so that whenever you're rendering you can see exactly what's going on or what has processed through the render. Um, you can also change your theme so you can either have Stormhide or Default. Um, I do believe the one that I'm using here is the Stormhide one. Okay. Our overrides for your file type you can render out whether it be PNG, Targa, Windows Bitmap, TIFF, and JPEG. But uh, you can also have those set with inside the render settings inside of Maya. And so you can see that I have no override here. This means that this is going to take the information which is inside of Maya and set to render out. And then it'll kick those renders out and into a folder whenever we go ahead and do that. Um, obviously the help here is pretty much self-explanatory. Okay, so let's go ahead and see how we can set this up real quick. So our scene file, we need to point to the location that our scene file is here. And I just have my project file and folder that I'm using for uh, this quick tip on my desktop here. So let's go ahead and click our folder icon. And we're just going to set our location to our desktop, the demo reel stuff 2011, the scene folder and our V-Ray rendering set one. This is going to be the scene that we're going to be rendering here. Okay, we're going to render that image too. So where do we want to render that image to? You can either render those images to a folder with inside of the project folder, or you can go ahead and what I'm going to do here is create a new one. Okay, so we're just going to put this onto our desktop. Okay, and we just need to create a new folder here. So we're just going to call this folder, and we'll just have it called test images. Okay, and you can see that this doesn't pop up, so I'm just going to go ahead and reload this real quick. Okay, desktop, test images. Okay, so now that that's set, we also need to make sure that we have our camera set. So let's go ahead and jump back to my here. And since we're going to be rendering from this camera view angle, we need to make sure that we have that name correct, which is shot cam. Okay, so I'm just going to go ahead and pull this back down. I'm going to type that name here into our camera line. So shot cam. Okay, 
the frames here that we need to go ahead and render or what we would want to render. So say if you had an animation that was 250 frames, you can go ahead and render from frame 0 to 250. Or you can make a multitude of these batch files. So you can render um, certain frames from say like 1 to 5, 25 to 50 and so on. So for this we're just going to go ahead and render frame 1 and end of frame 1. So whenever we render frame 1 it's going to stop at frame 1 and that's all it's going to render. Let's go ahead and add that render line here. Okay. And we're going to go ahead and create our test script, which is just going to be the batch file for us. Okay, so we'll go ahead here and put this in the same location as our test images. We're just going to name this the test batch. Okay, hit save. And you can see that you get this window that pops up that says, yes, success. So we created that batch script. Go ahead and just drag that into the test images. And I'm just going to go ahead and double click this. And you get your command prompt here. So once I have this window selected and press any key, it's going to start to render out that um, image inside of Maya. And so what I would like to do here is just simply close Maya and make sure that everything is set up in the way that you would want to render out. Uh, meaning your lights, your animation, and so forth. So that all you're going to have to do is just go ahead and press any key here with the command prompt up. And once we go ahead and do that, it's going to kick those images out and into any folder that you've gone ahead and created. So uh, you can see how much and how simple this is, how simple of a process this is to go ahead and get all those batch render script images out um, and I will I would like to make a note to you that doing and rendering this way is much faster than actually rendering inside of Maya simply because this allows your computer and your hardware to focus specifically on processing that information out you don't have to worry about being inside of Maya and basically being slower or slowed down by your graphics and your GPU. This is just simply to run your CPUs as fast as it can. It's allowing your computer to maximize all your processing power to go ahead and kick those images out. So um, typically this runs a lot faster than than anything. Um, I do run a dual Xeon system and normally it doesn't take that long for me to process any frame of um, information and it is fairly quick so um, if you would like to go ahead and render this way I definitely would suggest it and thanks for watching everybody